Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hot ST, and welcome back to season 37 of my FTL series. We are in the second episode in our Montes Cruiser layout theme. And last time I uh, explained a bit about the uh, game and the goal and so on. Um, we'll continue, but uh, if you missed last episode, definitely go and check that one out. And then we can move out. We have two distress right here at the start. So I think let's go down here first. Ooh, a straight field. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ooh, that's... Shield down, that's not good. Fire here, not good as either as well. Okay. Let's bring the crew back. Okay, at least... The fire is out. And... And we can also bring him back and repair engine. We lost a bit of uh, our hull there, but that's something we can probably uh, uh, still deal with. <coughs> At least we get got a decent weapon uh, in the in the first sector and even managed to uh, power it so now it's just there is a store but the store that's that's a dead end let's go here before we move on to the distresses okay more scrap and then on we go. Okay, we will take the weapon. It's not the worst weapon, not the best either. Okay, uh, either we can send the, the crew uh, to put out the fire, which means we could lose one, but we do have clone bay, so we should be fine with that one. Docking, I think, involves the risk of additional damage, so let's do this one. And we got it back. So, let's see what we have here. Chain laser uh, requires two power, uh, takes 16 seconds to uh, load, uh, but with uh, each uh, shot fired, the loading time decreases until we are down to seven seconds. Seven seconds load time is pretty good, uh, but it can be a bit difficult uh, when pairing with uh, with other uh, weapons um, as basically with uh, each shot you have a different uh, load time 
just making sure everything connects as uh, I would expect not that we uh, end up in a, in a dead end can do here uh, no surrender for you all right and I think we shall finish this ship this way it's just easier also uh, boarding a ship um, killing the crew um, there are more than one way to kill the crew it's not just boarding usually gets you a uh, um, higher amount uh, when it comes to, to scrap. As the ship is still intact and uh, not in pieces. Okay, here we have a ship in an asteroid field with pirate marking and we get a blue option. Usually blue options are the best options you can take. Uh, so we will do this here and get probably more uh, scrap and goodies out of it. And let's move down here. They do have a clone bay. Let's go here and then move the Lanius to the clone bay to destroy it while the uh, two mantis deal with the two rocks. Totally healthy uh, Mantis boarding party. And we have to keep an eye on the uh, on our hull there. We also could do was an upgrade on uh, shields. But we have a story here first. Oh, let's see what we have here. Weapons wise, not really that interesting. Um, then we have a scrap recovery arm, which is good. Cloaking would also be good, that, but that eats up all our uh, scrap. So scrap recovery arm. Which means every time we get scrap, we get 10% more. And then repair up till here. And then we can sell this one and this one. And then second shield. Okay, I think we are set quite good. Um, 
we need to go here to the to the exit but let's go here first then here then there that should work we will aid the civilian ship three man boarding party yeah why not because we can And it's a good thing we have two shields, they have two lasers, so uh, from a weapons perspective, nothing to worry about. Ooh, we got a rock! Welcome, welcome! Uh, you can go on uh, engine duty. And then we will save these positions. And by the way, this line is where the uh, the fleet is currently. Uh, and they are moving in. And the red line is where they will be after the next jump. I'm not sure if uh, we will still be out of it if we do not jump here. And now we have a blue option for our new crew, uh, rock crew member, which we will take, of course. Um, this is a Mantis ship, so let's fight Mantis with Mantis. They also have an uh, NG. Okay. They dealt with all of our crew. Um, we could do this. And by hitting the shield first, um, we uh, basically increase the damage on any of the uh, uh, follow-up rooms. As the glide beam does not need to penetrate uh, one level of shield in addition. All right, I was right. Uh, we would have uh, been uh, within the territory. Um, but we can still go here and then to the exit. That works. I'm sure. Okay, we can sell missiles. Usually I'm not a big fan of uh, missile-based runs, so let's sell 15 for quite a bit of scrap and move on to the exit where we can trade additional two missiles for two drone parts which we will do and uh, then uh, let's not let's keep uh, the uh, scrap we have because maybe uh, next sector uh, has a store right there and next sector will be once again rock controlled until then goodbye